Hey everyone, welcome back to the Craftsman's Guide. I'm Cameron, and today we're going to be building this Japanese-inspired mountaintop shrine. I've never got anything like this before, but I think it turned out pretty damn good. We're trying a new style, so let me know what you think, and let's get to it. I wanted this first mountain top to be focused around the cherry blossom I'd made in a previous video. So using it as a guide, I got the XPS foam and began to carve out some stone formations. Once the base shape was ready to go, I added some stone and textured with an aluminium bowl. Once I'd assembled the base of the mountain, I needed it all to fit together, so I grabbed some sculptor mold and began sculpting. While the stone set, I used the dowel to carve out some fence posts and connected them using matchsticks. Using some gravel and dirt from my backyard, I added a layer of stone flocking. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with where we're at so far. All of the flocking's down and we need to wait for it to dry. So while that's happening, I'm going to work on the bridge. It's going to look amazing. I hope. Let's go! Whoa! Once the bridge was built, I moved on to making the Tory gate with chopsticks and foam. When it was ready to assemble, I moved on to Mod Podge. This mixture is just Mod Podge with black paint and acts as a primer and a sealer. And the grey base coat we put on after went amazing. We used brown for the wood, and then with a brown and a grey, made it look a little dirty. This adds texture for when we use a tan for the dry brush. We use this on the wood as well, and finish off the stone with a gentle white dry brush. I laid down some PVA for the flocking and then spread it around with a paintbrush, making sure to get all of the areas I want the moss to climb. Links to the flocking product are down below. Finally, we're adding the tree, finishing off the bridge and flocking, and then adding cherry blossoms. With a few final touches, it's ready to go. Let's take a look. Thank you so much for making this far into the video. I appreciate it. If you liked it, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and letting me know down below what you want to see next. And as always, see you on the next adventure.